Hello, my name is Elizabeth Davis, and I am currently in Art of the Western World II with Dr. Brian Zygmunt and Clark University. I am going to discuss Gustave Calibot's piece, Paris, A Rainy Day, which he painted in 1877. Gustave decided first to get a law degree, then later was drafted to fight in the war. After the war, he visited the studio of Leon Bonnet. This is when he really started to study art and painting. Gustave, although most known as an Impressionist, never seems to really stick to a painting style. In other words, his painting style seems to vary amongst his works. Some people think this is maybe because of how he forms relationships with the people around him. That is, that his painting style reflects who he is around at the time that he paints the artwork. We see more of a realism aspect from him. He paints what he sees. He wants to reduce the theatricality of paintings. Some of Gustave's paintings were controversial because people didn't get his exaggerated use of perspective. At 34, Gustave stopped showing his art and began to garden, build, and race boats. He died at 45 of pulmonary congestion while working in his garden. One of Gustave's most famous paintings is Paris, A Rainy Day. This is an oil painting done on a canvas. The painting's dimensions are 6 feet and 11.5 inches by approximately 9 feet. This piece is located in the Charles H. and Mary F. S. Worcester Collection at the Art Institute of Chicago, Illinois. It was first shown as a third Impressionist exhibit when it was first painted in 1877. At 29, Gustave was the youngest artist in the group and was independently wealthy. To viewers today, the picture could be seen as the wor old-time world because of the carriages in the background and the cobblestone roads that we don't really see anymore. At the time he painted it, though, it did quite the opposite for the viewers. The viewers at the time seen an advancing world that had just been completely changed by Baron Huseman. Baron Huseman has just revamped Paris's social structure, which brought about the urban branch. Citizens had to decide whether or not to move, and Gustave empathized with them. Citizens ended up becoming more distant with each other. Gustave shows this with the distance between everyone walking and the fact that the couple up front looks as if they could run into the man walking the opposite direction, and these people are not even acknowledging each other. Some people theorize, since middle class people were the ones who viewed the Gustave's painting, that he intended to make them self-conscious about this problem that has arised. Through the use of lines, angles, and vantage points, we get the idea of depth in this image. For instance, the couple walking together seem to be closer to us than the other objects in the painting. Body posture, such as bent knees, also makes it seem like they are walking towards us and soon won't be in the picture at all. Since this couple seems closest to us, our eyes are drawn to them first. But then it's like we jump from umbrella to umbrella through the picture until we hit the buildings that appear, appear to be in the background to us. The angle of the buildings and the way they are arranged give us the idea that the roads in between buildings just keep going on, like you could just walk down them and get somewhere else. Though we can't see it actually raining in the picture, Gustave gets across the point that it is raining through using, well, the name, obviously, Paris, a rainy day. But seeing as everyone is using an umbrella, we can infer that it is raining because why else would anyone have an umbrella? Going back to, to Gustave not being able to pick an artistic style. This painting itself is known as an Impressionist work, but has some qualities that don't add up to this. For example, he has more delicate brush strokes than the usual broken brush strokes in Impressionist works. Also, every object is depicted in solid form. No objects are dissolving out. The big thing that sets this out from the other Impressionists, though, is that Gustave paints with a more reality. He doesn't give a hope of optimism like other Impressionist painters do. Thank you.